Hello everyone, welcome back to my dependent log for Deck Tactics, the game book theme rock like deck builder game with a turn-based tactic RPG combat system. I've been working on a number of updates and improvements these past few weeks, and I'm excited to share them with you. First on today's list, I have a new UI called the Experience Gain screen that displays if a unit in the player's deck has leveled up or mastered a card after a battle. The experience screen will display the player's stats first, but the player can cycle through the list of units that have at least gained a level on something. Speaking of leveling, the last time I mentioned the topic, I might have mentioned that the stat increase might be tied to what the unit does on the battlefield. At the time, I made a placeholder mechanic that just increased the stat at random and had yet to implement the action based stat increase mechanic. Now, however, I've gone with a different approach to how stat increase work. When a unit levels up, they will be given an upgrade point. The player can then access the new stat manager screen to allocate the unit's available upgrade point to any stat that the unit may have. The player doesn't have to spend all of their upgrade points at once, and if they leave some behind, an indicator will be shown beside the unit's card's level. Accessing the stat manager screen is done through the deck manager. Right-clicking on any card in the deck manager will open up the stat manager which will show further details about that card. There's also the inspect button, which does the same thing as right-clicking a card. Next on our list, I made an important change to the unit's control script. It now has the ability to turn the AI control on and off. This was done primarily to facilitate the new rage status effects, which was formerly known as taunt before it was reworked. With this, unit can now switch sides on a dime opening up the possibility to create more interesting cards like mind control cards or even independent units that are on the side of the player but don't have control over them. Many more status effects will be reworked in the upcoming weeks. I got several more cards to implement and the unit's AI still needs to be tweaked but I'm making great strides towards progress and pretty soon I can conduct my first playtest. Hopefully that can happen sooner than later. Anyways, that's it for this development log. I'm excited for these changes and can't wait for you guys to try them out someday. Until then, stay tuned for more updates and thanks for watching.